guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So in this video, I wanna practice making my balloon garlands. So I'm gonna be doing a balloon backdrop, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me, okay? So most of this video is gonna be in time-lapse just because I wanna try out some new things. I will slow it down at times to show you guys what I'm doing because I always get a lot of questions on my balloon garlands, okay? And on that note, you guys are welcome to sign up for my balloon garland class that's on my website. So I will put a link in the description for you guys and you could sign up for that and get some one-on-one -on -one time with me to answer your questions. All right, so let's get started.
right guys, so here's where I'm at with my balloon garland. As you can see, I added some leaves and then I also added some flowers. And as you can see up here, I started adding my final touches. I love these colors and to me, it was screaming teddy bears. <laughs> So I'm gonna add some more teddy bears just to finish this off. Before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know I tried some different things with this balloon garland, okay? So one of the things that I tried was waiting until the end to add my big balloons. So when I was creating my balloon garland, my initial balloon garland, I didn't use any 24 inch balloons. I only used my 11 inch balloons and my 18 inch balloons. I waited until the end to add my bigger balloons. And I have to say that I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't necessarily like doing it that way. So I follow a bunch of balloon artists and designers on Instagram, and I seen that some of them were waiting until the end to add their bigger balloons. So I figured that I would give it a try. But for me, I like to add the bigger balloons when I'm building my initial balloon garland. So when I blow up my balloons, I like to use some of the bigger balloons, and then I also add them at the end. Another thing that I tried out was connecting the balloons just using the necks of the balloons, okay? So I've also seen other people do that. You know, they tie the balloons together using the neck of the balloon rather than using 260 cues. And I have to admit that I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that either, but it could be because I need more practice doing it. So we'll see on that one. For now, I'm just gonna stick with my 260Q balloons because I know that I can use those and create beautiful balloon garlands. So you guys didn't see this, but last night I had to redo these balloon garlands because they just didn't look right to me. So I had to go back to what I knew and use my 260Q balloons to shape the balloon garlands. And I love the way that this looks now, okay? So that's why I wanted to make this video just to show you guys, you know, that you can try different methods, you can try different ways of creating your balloon garlands, but if it doesn't work out, just stick with what you know, all right? So now I'm going to add my old baby sign and some finishing touches to this. I know you guys are going to ask me how I added the old baby sign. So afterwards, I'm going to zoom in so you could see that.
All right, guys, so here's my balloon backdrop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just can't get enough of this teddy bear theme, so you may see more ideas from me in the future. I'll put the link to the materials in the description of the video. I'll also make sure I count the balloons and let you guys know exactly how many balloons that I use for this because I always get questions on that. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.